Hey YouTube, Love and Light, the Empress is in the building and welcome to the Empire. I want to thank you for stopping by and supporting my channel. I'm going to be doing a reading for my water signs for today. Um, this is for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you're not a water sign and you're watching this video, there is a message here for you. Everyone is welcome here. Um, this is a collective read, so it may not resonate for everyone. So please just take what resonates and leave the rest for whoever needs it. If this does resonate for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe to join our spiritual tribe and to help the channel grow. I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy off of the space and we're going to go ahead and get started. I hope y'all week is going well, water signs, all is well in the empire. I want to thank y'all so much for stopping by and supporting. I appreciate y'all so much. So Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, I ask that you protect me as I go into the white light of the tarot. Give me clear and honest messages from my water signs today. Anything that is of you, light and love. Anything that is not of you, I ask that you return to sender tenfold. I ask that you protect my water signs as they receive these messages. Thank you, Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. Let's see what's going on with y'all energy today, water signs. Ooh, ooh, Spirit say something is not for you. Hmm. So I feel like somebody is rebuilding their life, possibly after a separation. Somebody y'all been going round and round with. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody feel like they um yeah, the universe stepped in to block this, but I feel like uh this person is hoping that they have an opportunity to uh come back. They want to come back. But I feel like you. Uh, it's time for you to rest, recalibrate, recuperate. Yeah, just know that all the glitters is not gold. Mm, I feel like somebody, yes, clean up. Mm-hmm. It's time to remove the baggage. Release the baggage. Release the burden. Clean house. Clean it up. 21 could be significant. 12, 3. Yeah, it says time for a nap. Rest and recalibrate and recuperate. Trying to restore some balance back into your life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody is about to message you. Mm-hmm. Somebody wants to come back. Mm-hmm. They want to restore balance back into connection, but the universe is saying, not today. This is not for you. Whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Somebody is very emotional. Or this person could have had you emotional. Mm-hmm. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh, wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be a heavy drinker. <laughs> Somebody could be drinking. Mm -hmm. Somebody was definitely keeping a lot of secrets. But um, I feel like it's time for you to get grounded. Focus on your priorities. Focus on you. Focus on self-care and self-love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something's going to be revealed to you for sure. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Mm-hmm. It says, face your financial fears. It says, when you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness and you'll realize that in, you in fact have nothing to fear and that every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts so some of y'all could be feeling self-doubt so maybe a, a disruption in a connection or a separation has caused you to feel um financially unstable or maybe have some financial hardships but the universe is asking you not to fear um any instability and that you have no, nothing to fear, that you are going to be successful, uh, and to release these self-doubts. Um, keep a positive mindset. The universe has your back. It says pay yourself first. Make yourself um, make yourself your most important, important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future. So, yeah, so um, some of y'all might need to focus on saving your money, put something back every pay period. Make sure you are investing in yourself. Um... Make sure some of y'all might need to cut back on your spending as well. Focus on your priorities. 
during this time. Focus on your long-term investments. Let's see if anything else comes out. That way you can plan for your future. Some of y'all might need to be investing in your 401ks. Let's see. I don't think nothing else. If y'all have a 401k at your job, maybe invest in that, put something back, because it will also give you a return like the, you know, your company will invest too. It says, dreams of abundance. As you sleep, God and your angels and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. So some of y'all could be... Um, have some goals that you're trying to achieve. Um, make sure you are recording your dreams in a journal. Um, the universe is trying to give you answers and ideas that's going to help you bring in abundance. It's going to give you some valuable insights on how to manifest your desires. So you need to be paying attention to those synchronicities, those dreams, you know, things like that. And keep an abundant mindset. So keep your thoughts positive. Uh, make sure you are being optimistic. Make sure you are keeping healthy thoughts. Make sure you are um, just staying focused and grounded at this time. Let's see. So definitely you are going to be receiving some messages in your dreams. Let's see what's up, what else is going on. Okay, water signs. Good. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I feel like somebody is um, in this Queen of Cups energy. Um, I feel like some of you are very um, seeking comfort. Uh, very compassionate, very loyal, very um, emotionally grounded or trying to get emotionally grounded right now. Um, I feel like it's time for you to pour it into your own cup. And it's Queen of Cups energy, very loving, nurturing energy. So I feel like it's time for you to love and nurture yourself. Uh, we also have the Page of Cups. I feel like you are going to be um, get a message of like a surprise message. So you could be getting a message about um, finances. Some of y'all could be getting a raise. Some of y'all could be getting a, um, a promotion. Some of y'all could be getting some happy news about uh, a job, a new job, something that's going to bring in some abundance. But I definitely feel like somebody is very emotional right now. But I definitely feel like you're going to get a happy surprise. Hmm. So we do have also the Knight of Cups in reverse here. Um, I feel like somebody is definitely um, all up in the emotions. So I feel like somebody is just daydreaming. Um, about their situation. Um, heavily in thought. Definitely about, you know, some. I feel like somebody is crying. Very, um, very emotional right now. So somebody is just sitting, you know, reflecting about, you know, something that happened. You know, somebody is definitely in the emotions, in deep in thought, fantasizing. Somebody could be fantasizing about you. To be honest with you. But I feel like somebody is trying to hold on to you. Somebody could be trying to hold on to you for finances. Or you could be trying to hold on to somebody else for finances. Put yourself where you belong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I feel like uh, somebody is definitely wanting a new beginning or a breakthrough with you. Somebody is trying to gain some mental clarity about a, a love situation. So definitely somebody is heavily in their emotions about this. But I feel like it's time for you to get in alignment. Get emotionally grounded.
Mm -hmm. I feel like somebody's going to come in and offer you some type of apology, but I definitely feel like um, somebody wants to come in and make you a stable offer, but I feel like you endured a lot with this person, and I feel like you need to set some boundaries with this person. Yeah. Nine of Wands energy here. I don't know if I said that or not, but I feel like you need to stand up for yourself. I feel like this person was very, um, possibly very reckless. Yeah, I feel like it's time for you to see things from a different perspective and possibly let this this go. Universe said not for you and clean it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like this is... Um, uh, it was a de definitely an ending here, but I feel like somebody wants to have some type of reunion with you. But I feel like you're going through this major trans um, transformation. And I feel like you're headed towards victory and success and getting the recognition you deserve. So I feel like this person was very in and out of your life. Maybe like a situationship, non-committal. Um, maybe this person um, was hiding you. Mm-hmm. Not giving you the recognition you deserve. Maybe, like I said, you know, uh, friends will benefit type of thing. Maybe this was a lot of, uh, this was a lot of passion, but not, like I said, non-committal. Hmm. This person was definitely in and out. I feel like this person was definitely um, emotionally disconnected. I feel like there was definitely some instability in this connection. So now this person could be wanting to come in and bring you some truth and clarity. Or want to have a breakthrough with you. But I feel like you definitely need to use your intuition in this situation. Because I feel like this person could have invested somewhere, could be invested somewhere else. And that's possibly why they couldn't commit with you. So we got the, the King of Pentacles, um, the Seven of Pentacles, as well as the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person could be invested somewhere, somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd be very careful about this person. Let me get one more card on this shit. Mm -mm. So I feel like this person is needing to make a, a choice possibly between you and someone else. And I feel like this person is holding on to something else to do for stability. And maybe this person sees you as emotional fulfillment, but yeah, this hangman energy, I just feel like uh, this person needs to make a sacrifice and release something to come towards you. Hmm. But I feel like this person could possibly even be married. Mm. Too many cards. And I feel like this person is trying to uh, get the strength and courage to come towards you because they want to communicate with you. But I feel like this person is going to come in. Yeah. So, but I feel like it's time for, you know, I feel like this person is in deep contemplation on how to come towards you. But I definitely feel like it's some third party energy here. And I feel like this person is building with someone else. Mm hmm. Yeah. But I feel like this person wants to come in. For a new beginning with you, but they know they, they need to walk away from something. But this person's having a lot of nostalgia. They want to heal this situation, but I feel like it's a you know a sit you know this person has a family, giving the two six of pentacles. Yeah, this person's definitely watching you though. Mm hmm. But I feel like you headed towards growth and expansion. I feel like this was a, a painful ending for you. 
But I feel like um, the universe is urging you to move forward. Time for you to rest, recalibrate, recuperate, close this off. Mm -hmm. But this person is going to try to contact you. But I feel like you, the universe is urging you to, to move forward, keep focusing on your goals, building, rebuilding your life. You got infinite possibilities. You can have new love coming towards you. The universe is urging you to move away from this connection. And lead the past in the past. Lead the past in the past. Don't hold on to the past and heal from this situation. You are going to, you know, head towards something that's going to give you a sense of wholeness, a sense of community. Yeah, it's going to be reciprocal. So, yeah. The universe is urging you to walk away from this. Focus on self-care and self-love. This person is going to reach out to you. You're going to be successful. You got good things coming towards you. Don't let this past hold you back. One more card. One more card, Spirit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It says, I know that I will sometimes feel heavy and disappointed. I'm allowed to have bad days. So, yeah, I feel like this was a painful ending for you. I feel like you're very emotional. It's time for you to rest, recalibrate, and recuperate from this, heal from this, and move forward. You are going to have a breakthrough. You are headed towards new beginnings. Um, it's time for you to focus on self-care and self-love. Let go of the past and move forward. It's time for you to stand up for yourself and um, set some healthy boundaries. Heal through this and have faith that new beginnings are coming for you. It says, I know that sitting in silence is the surest way to hear my intuition speak. I'm listening. Yeah, so listen to your intuition in this situation. The universe is trying to nudge you. This is not the, uh, not the route to go. They're trying to nudge you to move forward, move away from this situation. It is not for your highest good. And it says, I am dreaming bigger. I know that life is only limited by my imagination. Yeah, so, you know, make sure you are staying focused and grounded. Do not let the past hope hold you back. You have great things coming towards you. The universe is um, urging you to have faith that your wishes are going to come true. And it says, I know that passion is ignited when I create experiences that excite me. I'm going on an adventure. Yeah, so the universe is urging you to have faith. Take a leap of faith. That new beginnings are coming. Where is that fool card? I know, yeah. Take a leap of faith. And know that your wishes are going to come true. Let's see. Yeah. So this person is giving the two. Bread crumbing you. Not giving you equal trait. You know your worth. Know your worth and keep on moving. Pay yourself first. Mm -hmm. Power. You instinctively know that know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. So stand in your power, stand in your truth. Do what's right for you. And it says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It always um, simply allows and gives. You know, love is about give and take. If you're not receiving equal reciprocity, walk away um, until somebody can, you know, you know, you'll call in somebody who's able to give you that. You got new love opportunities coming. And it says, my beloved, though we may not, we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. My love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So you will call in a new love with this Ace of, uh, where is it at? The Ace of Cups, new love. So, you know, be open to new possibilities and what's coming in your future. And it says, reflection, give each other some space at the moment, trust and faith and have faith that it will all work out for the best. So if this is meant to come together in divine timing, because this could be your twin flame as well. We got the four of wands here. Uh, the divine will uh, 
bring it together in divine timer. But um, in the beginning, it did say not today. Clean it up. Time for a nap. Message in a bottle. This was divinely guided. And you've been going round and round with this person. So it's time to close out this cycle and move forward. Let's see. Uh oh. Yeah. So this is what I have for you, water signs. If this is this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe until the next video. Love and light.